After months of developer previews, Android Nougat 7.0 was officially released today, bringing tons of new features and important security updates. The first thing that you will notice if upgrading from a previous version of Android N is that updates are far quicker than in the past, as you don't have to wait for all of your apps to upgrade. In the future, these updates will be even faster and a quick reboot will be all that's needed, similar to Chromebooks where your phone will update itself in the background. As you can see, when upgrading to Android N, for me the update only took a couple minutes and was a lot faster than normal. While faster upgrades are great, you'll probably get more use out of the new multitasking features on a daily basis. With N, Google finally supports split-screen multitasking, and you can easily do this by long holding on the multitasking button or swiping up from below the multitasking button and choosing which apps you want to take up the screen. From my personal experience, the multitasking does work with almost every app on the Google Play Store. However, very few officially support it, which means you'll normally get an app may not support this feature message whenever you try and use multitasking. While all Android devices will allow you to use this feature in both portrait and landscape mode, to be able to adjust the size of each window, you will have to be on a larger Android device such as my Nexus 6P or a Galaxy Note. Some of the smaller upgrades to multitasking include the ability to quickly double tap on the multitasking button to switch to your most recently used app. Additionally, when you press the multitasking button, instead of being shown the app you're currently in, you'll be shown your most recent app which ends up saving you a lot of time. Potentially the biggest and my favorite change with Android N is the new notification system. While there is a redesigned notification tray that now spans the entire width of the screen, there's a lot more features that make responding to and managing your notifications a lot easier and more convenient. In Android N, whenever you receive a notification from an app that supports it, you can now reply directly from the notification bar, which is a really great feature if you're watching a YouTube video or in an app and you don't want to leave it but you quickly need to respond. And the other feature is the ability to bundle your notifications. So if an app has multiple notifications, instead of taking up your entire notifications tray, those will all be grouped into a single notification, which you can then expand by swiping down from it and then managing those notifications individually. And finally, you now have the ability to quickly hide or block notifications from certain apps from the notification bar. You simply swipe over and there'll be a settings icon that appears and from there you can choose when the app is allowed to show notifications. Google has also made lots of optimizations that should improve performance and increase battery life. Project Doze which was introduced in Marshmallow has been greatly improved in N and now instead of only being activated when your phone is sitting on a desk or completely stationary. It will be activated if it's in a pocket or something where it's still moving around but is not being actively used. There have also been improvements in app management which should not only free up some extra RAM for you but will result in better battery life and smoother performance all across your phone. There have also been a few small updates to now on tap. So when you long hold down on the home button, you'll now be able to translate any content that's currently on the screen if it's not in your native language or have the options to quickly start a timer, set an alarm, or find restaurants and food nearby. In addition to redesigning the settings app with a menu that now slides in from the side, Google has also added a few useful features here, including a new data saver and a night mode. The data saver allows you to restrict which apps are allowed to transmit background data, which should help you stay under your monthly data cap if you're getting close to going over. And the night mode allows you to automatically dim your screen and reduce the blue light emitted by the screen so you'll be able to fall asleep faster. Perhaps the most important part of this update is the new security features, the most obvious of which is being able to control the permissions apps have access to. So instead of granting it permission to everything it requests when you download it from the Google Play Store, Apps will now have to ask you for permission to use things like the camera, the microphone, or have access to your contacts. Finally, Google introduced a feature called Direct Boot, which allows apps to run before you've unlocked your phone. And this is important as otherwise you may miss notifications from messaging apps if you hadn't unlocked your phone after rebooting. While Android N is not a massive overhaul to Android, it does introduce a lot of new features that I find very useful and it also offers lots of refinements that make Android more secure and easier to use.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about Android N, make sure to ask me down below in the comments, and I'll respond as soon as I can.